Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to remove the DVD drive from a desktop computer tower. This will be a full tutorial but also an easy tutorial so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here I'll be demonstrating the process with this specific computer tower and this specific DVD drive um, but your computer tower might be different and the process might be slightly different but you can still use this as a guide and I'll tell you about some slight variations that you might come across throughout this video as well. So what you want to do is locate your DVD drive, okay? Which is right here, so you know where it is within the computer tower. Then you want to make sure that everything is unplugged and press and hold down the power button for about 10 seconds. This is going to discharge any remaining power that lies within the computer tower. So just press and hold it down for about 10 seconds and then, you know, it's going to discharge any remaining power that's within the components inside of the computer tower. Okay, next what you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the side panel. Now you might have some screws that are holding your side panel in place, so take a look for those. But in this case, the side panel is attached to the outside bezel using this little locking lever right here. So to remove the side panel in this computer, I just pull out this locking lever and it pops out of place. Then I can use just a little bit of gentle force to pull that side panel down. Now as you can see right over here, we have exposed the DVD drive over here, okay? So you want to you want to see where it is on the front of the computer, but then also look at the label, make sure that it's the DVD drive that you're looking at, okay? The DVD optical drive. There are going to be two cables, two ribbon cables connecting um, the DVD drive to the other components of the computer. In this case, it was these two right here. You want to pull them out gently. They're just pressed in place like that, like, you know, I, I pulled them out before starting this video just to make it a little bit faster, but you just pull them out like that. Like I said, you just want to just pull them out like that, okay? And then you want to actually physically remove the DVD drive by figuring out how it's held in place. Um, it might be held in place by screws, but most likely it's going to be held in place by some sort of clipping lever mechanism type of thing. In this case, I can pull this out. When I pull this out, it allows me to slide the DVD drive outwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my camera down just like that. And as you can see right here, if I pull this out, I can then slide this DVD drive outwards. Let's just give it a little wiggle just like that. There we go, okay? And then I can actually just remove it just like that. And there you go, it's gone. The DVD drive is out. That's how to remove the DVD drive from a desktop computer. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.